There you go. White bass, baby, all day long. What's up, folks? Look back there. We got his boat. That is not the Grady White back there. And I'm not doing the camera and driving. I'm not driving. Joel Willis is driving. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Where are we going, Joel? Going for some white bass. White bass run. So those of you that are local know the white bass run on uh, Noises River. Noises. And it's about an hour and a half, two hour drive, depending on what you're doing. To get down there to a ramp to get to fish the fish all day and then get back in the truck and drive all the way back home and that's the part of it i've never liked it's going down there and back in one day so what we did different this year and if some of you watch some of my old vlogs me and audrey stayed at a little house on the river down there one time and it's the perfect setup for us so i got joel and shay and i said hey let's go down there stay a few days that way we got you know two three days to do some fishing and we got a place to stay we don't have to hurry home so they said yeah it's a great idea so me and joe are heading down now shay is going to come down later hopefully he's had some this is right after this the ice storm we had uh and he's got down trees his power's out so you know if he makes it he makes it but we're on the road heading south. you know we had to stop on our way down to the river gotta get some water burger joe back there Putting the batteries on the boat so when we hit the river, we're ready to rock and roll. So, next time you see us, we'll probably be on the river. All right, we got to the little place we're staying. You see behind me, we're on the river. There's Joe Willis. We're trolling. White bass fishing time. We'll keep you posted, I'll let you know how it goes. Sitting here BSing, and Mr. Joe Willis <laughs> is tearing them up. Sorry about the camera movement, but we got to drive the boat in. Let Joe Willis get this first fish in of the day. Get the skunk off the boat for day one. Mm -hmm. oh, there he is. Yeah, I seen him. You were moving fast, bro. Was it 10 inches for them guys here? Yeah. Now he, he sees the boat. Now I hope you got something to measure him with. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, he's 10. Oh, yeah, he's 10. Look at that bad boy. Oh, baby. There you go. No first fun. fish of the day. All right, look at the map, get a mental picture of where we're at or drop a waypoint. There should be one of the buttons on the side that you can hit that'll just make a waypoint. Like a flag? But, yep. Okay, now you gotta finish it. You gotta say like enter or something. Don't change any of the info, just enter. All right, you can get us back out of harm's way over here. All right, you folks see what Joe Wills is using? Oh, That's yeah. what he caught. First fish of the day is going in the, we're gonna put them up here, right? Yep. That's one. That's one. All right, John's on. Yeah, I got my first fish on. I broke off my, I was using a Alabama, oh shoot. He's gotten up in the motor. Did he? Uh, I got him out. I was using an Alabama rig and it snagged and came off. So back to the handy dandy. Rattle trap. There, you, there go. you go. White bass, baby, all day long. He's definitely Lance. He's definitely. He's he's. Yep. Back. Yep. Yep. All right, come here. I know you're gonna get me all scaled up and poked. And he got. Hand me that. I got it. Yep. Yeah, let's get this hook out. His chompers. Come on. Okay, got one out. Come on. I know you want out of your mouth. There we go. So, two in the boat. That's not bad for the first day. We got a late start. I think yours is definitely bigger than mine. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Okay. That's all right. They're going to taste the same, ain't they? Sure will. Get in there with your brother. Oh, yeah, look at you. you definitely got a bigger one. That's okay. That's nice though. That's still size. That's still size. It's on folks. We catching fish now. You didn't get hit at all right there? Mm -mm. So that's what we're watching for. If we get a spot where we're both getting hits at the same time, 
usually you got a bunch of fish there so you go ahead and anchor lock whatever stop your boat so you can cast into them and try to pick up a few more that's what we're looking to do right now this is our first time on the river this year we haven't been down here in probably four or five years more than that maybe six years mm -hmm. so we're relearning it so far so good mm -hmm. time to get another drink of that mo we just grabbed modelo's out of the cooler when i got that bite right yep. you know when you got your first one it was when we was just grabbed modelo's, modelo's out of the cooler so folks if you're coming to the Noises River to fish for white bass, Bring don't for, yeah, don't forget <laughs> the Modelo. All right. Got a little sling out there. That didn't work so much. <laughs> Come on. Matter of fact, I'm ready to switch to, to blue, just like yours. Oh, wait a minute now. We just got one. Why are you going to switch? <laughs> you guys see that? Hey, Blandy, yeah. if you ever watch this, that's almost like being a shadow, right? <laughs> uh. That's the color. Well, that's traditionally been our best color. All right. Ooh, this one feels a lot better, Joel. Yeah. Maybe not. Fish number two for John. You got him on. Watch your rod close now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. He's staying down, too. Oh, yeah, he's nice. He's a fatty. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, that's look a at good he one. choked that rattle trap. Oh, my there you go, goodness. boys. That's, that's nice. a nice fat white bass right there. That's a nice one. All right, come here, you. I'm gonna need that damn hook remover for sure this time. Ugh. Damn, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of his mouth. He swallowed the whole. Yeah, that's down in his damn gills. Can't even see it to hook onto it. All right, bro, you're gonna have to work with me here. Good thing you're a keeper and we're a keeping. All right, let me get him in. You wanna open the cooler that way I don't get too much blood on everything until I get my hands washed off? And close. That one's bigger. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's the biggest one. That's a pretty good one. Okay, now I gotta get my hands in this cold ass water. Ooh, Ooh my hands are cold, Joe. That was a good one. That was fun. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Got some blood on the deck. Yeah, I see. Well, it might not be five star, but we caught them ourselves. We got some white bass, some cheese, some salsa. We're about to, we kind of enough to make ourselves some dinner. We're about to throw down. So tomorrow is the first full day of fishing down here. And we expect to uh, bring in a little more fish than we did today. Good morning, folks. Started day two, me and Joe Willis on the Noasis River. Um, it was cold last night. I think this morning, the low I saw was like 32, but now it's back up to like 38 or so. It's warming back up. So it's time to get going. Let's see what we can do. We're going a different direction on the river today. We on. Keep it straight. Oh my gosh, he just got heavy, Joel. Mm -hmm. He just got heavy. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Not as big as yours, though. That's right. <laughs> but it's another nice white bass. There we go, boys. What are you talking about? All right. We doing it. We doing it. Did <laughs> somebody see it to you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. How you hook? He got the front hook in his mouth. <sighs> no, he's barely hooked in the lip, though, so that's good. Light here. Shake him off overboard. <laughs> Got two on. We're getting there. Here we go. So they're here. A nice little white bass. Using a little strategy today and it's starting to pay off. It's still day two. There's Joel. We found some guy on the bank and decided to take him fishing with us. <laughs> we got Shay on board. He had 
they've had a rough few days back home with power outages and trees down and finally everything's right and he was able to come down he was supposed to be down here with us yesterday but they had no power so he wasn't going to leave his family in that situation but every stuff is better it's not perfect yet still got the trees to deal with and all that but at least you can get out of the house and do something so and today is definitely warmer than yesterday so now we just need to start catching the fish this is that little uh diver i put on mini crankbait he's like champagne colored kind of brown Ooh, okay okay calm down okay what are you doing that's a good one looks nice there we go that's fish number three today mm -hmm. all right you in a whole pocket of them now or what what's that so you in a whole pocket of fish now i see that stringer he's yeah. doing all right good job man Good job, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're sitting on the bottom right now here. Oh, are they? About, uh, about eight feet down. Yep. So you just slabbing for them or what? I just go in, I'm just going, I'm going to hit the bottom and then slowly bring it up like that, like kind of what y'all are doing, just. Yeah, perfect. All right, Joel. Let's see what Joel got. Our man over here on the kayak just is killing them. Joel's got him nice little one right there. There we go, number four. All right, four in the boat today. We had three yesterday, so, so that's what the rattle trap. we're doing better. Yeah, that's the rattle trap did it. So there you go. That blue and silver rattle trap is still catching. All right, the new guy's got something on. There it is. There we go. That's a nice one. There we go. There we go. Oh, and that was on his diver. Yep. That's good. So they're biting on everything. So yeah, we've caught fish on every different lure just about that we put out, so that's a good thing. Well, you gotta say for yourself, Mr. Shea. Fish on. Fish on. He's only one behind me and Joel. Right, we got four in there. There you go, that great big ass one. That's cool, that was a nice one. One, two, three, four, five. Continue fish on, or are we gonna on. Are we let's gonna now that we just caught one let's go just a little bit further okay. get up around this band and see what it looks like before i cast out just want to make sure yeah we don't want to all right roll them all in guys <laughs> <laughs> you good? I know. Turn we kidding we fishing still all right folks while the guys are out getting a, another battery for the trolling motor for the boat because we've been killing the batteries that they're old i'll give you a quick look if you watched my river monsters video you've seen this place before because this is where me and audrey stayed and just fished off the back dock area right it's a pontoon basically is your dock um but if you hadn't seen that one so here's we're staying in this house it's an airbnb right it's a great fish camp right there's no uh potable water you gotta bring your own water uh, but other than that it's a great fish camp you look out the window down yonder you see a blue barrel hopefully you can see that that's the pontoon boat right there and then our boat joel's boat is tied up to the side of it and it's got great big old lights that shine on the water so you can do night fishing okay one person's gonna be sleeping here kitchen's back there there's a bathroom back there and then upstairs there's kind of an open area with a bed where joel's gonna sleep bathroom's up at the top of the stairs on the right and then back up there to the left is another bedroom where i've been sleeping so and then again, here's the kitchen. They're off buying a battery, so I'm cooking up some grub. We just got done fishing so far. Day two, Shay wasn't here the first day you saw that. He showed up. We got five whites in the boat today. It's real slow. Every Finally saw other boaters, because it's a Friday, so people are out there. And um, we didn't see anybody who had more fish than us. Most of them had either zero or they had four. So it's it is what it is of white bass fishing sometimes you hit and tomorrow might be the day we might crush them and we're not done today you know even if we don't take the boat out we're going to be fishing on that either, dock. either white bass you might actually have to measure that one you think he's 10 yeah he's 10. he's 10. all right so we uh changed things up since we had to, they had to run in and get a new battery and i cooked up some food and not enough daylight to really go out in the boat again and try and make it back so we're doing it uh right here on the dock and joel just hooked up nice little white bass 
But who's to tell? Of course, me and Shay were already throwing rooster tails and didn't catch squat. Shay's over there looking for insects to use for bait to get some bluegill that we can cut up and use for cut bait for some of the big old catfish and gar that are in here. All right. Yes. Joe Willis catching them at night. We out here on the dock. This is his third one off the dock. Of course, me and Shay ain't caught. Jack Diddley. Now, did you drop that up and down, or did you actually cast it out, Joe? No, in fact, you hit right, right in front of the light. You just hit right in front of the light. So they're out on the edge of the light. Nice one, Joel. This is a good size. Yeah. That's the biggest one off the dock. Yeah. There are two or He went small, bigger, bigger. Well, they're getting bigger. That's a good one. He's using the rooster tail. All right, get him. Oh, that was a rooster tail again? All right, you might get me throwing the roof. I'm coming across you on, on that side, I think. I think. Yep, I am. All right, we'll only take one over here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. You gonna lift up. You gonna drop the tip of yours, Shay? You can come over you. Oh yeah, I have to come up with this one. I got you. I got you, Shane. You got it? Keep yours out. Come on. You're the other one. Hmm? Oh, you're this one. The other one, yeah. No, you're good. You're good. I got it. Yeah. Good. All right. Good job. All right. First, the, uh, First one of the day. Well, we just got one. That's it. Yeah, it's been slow. We've been fishing a couple days. It's been slow every day. <laughs> hey, today is a different day, man. This is the day right here. This is our last day, son. We're slow all day, and then all of a sudden they decide to eat. That's right. I know. Yep. It's all fishing. Exactly. Yep. I need to have my fires out closer. You want this thing? Yeah. There you go. Nice. nice. Game on. <laughs> keep it in the center joel keep it in the center get that so here we go folks it's a uh, day two again the second fish of the day mr or day three i'm sorry second fish of the day mr joel willis has a secret oh you're on my line yeah i see mine moving didn't i say i said i see i thought you got here look at the side of that oh you ain't got me what the fuck Oh, that is a big one too. Look at that monster. So, for a typical white run, oh my god, that is the biggest one for sure. It's been really slow fishing, but we have caught some nice ones. So we dropped this fishing pole on me. Sorry. You're alright, just hang on sorry, the side. Sorry. You get the uh, grabbers are right here. Right some nice big ones. Yeah, I'm getting quality over quantity. Can we say that? So for, for the cooler, this would be fish number 10, right guys? Yep. Just let it back out. It's on mine. It's yours. Oh, traffic on the water right now, so it's hard to film. Got a little one. But it's your first one today, so. Yeah, but that's, a, that's never a bad thing. Is that 10? Yeah, he's not going to be big enough. Man, hold on, let me see. He looks like 6 to 8. Yeah, he's like 8 inches. Isn't it 10 inches? All right, we got Shane with a fish. Hang on to the into the bank. Drive in and film. Shane with a fish. Nice. That's there good. you go. That's a good one. That is your biggest one, I think. Yep. yep. We may have to save this spot. I think this is about where he caught his big one. Is it? You kept going around here, though, when we were got the That's the one that spurned him. Good dude. You want a grabber grabber? Yeah, okay. Sure. Ooh, there. All 
right. What the fuck? 